Um, my name is Melissa Jamerson. I am a labor and delivery nurse. I have been a nurse for six years now, and I have two dogs named Penny and Piper, and let me show you them. So this is Miss Penny. She's three years old, and she's a Shih Tzu. All right, and this is Piper Girl. She's not wanting to look, but there you go. <laughs> Um, and they are sisters from different misters, and she's about six years old, so. Um, they are my girl, they're my, my babies. You know, I don't have kids yet, so they're, they're it. And um, not having them on the road with me, I really couldn't imagine that, because it's a sense of home and security, pretty much. The biggest challenge I've found with bringing my girls with me is finding someone that I trust to take care of them while I'm at work. Um, you know, working 13 hour shifts, uh, they have to have a potty break mid shift. So uh, the best thing in the world for me has been the Rover app, um, which has dog walkers and they're vetted and they have background checks. And, you know, I, I love that because you can actually see um, like the route they take when they walk them. They send you a little report card with how many times they pooped and peed. It's like perfect. <laughs> you know, I'm traveling by myself. So I love that on my days off, I don't really feel like I'm by myself because I can go to a winery or a brewery and take my dogs with me and kind of entertain myself with them. And, and we go hiking on my days off. I feel like it gets me outside a lot more than I would potentially get outside if I was by myself. And then just having them so excited to see me when I get off, it's just stress reducing times a million. You know, you have these happy little faces that are just ecstatic when you walk through the door. So it's all positives. Uh, so usually before I go on my assignments, um, I take them both to the vet if they're due for anything. Um, I usually take a couple weeks off in between assignments. One of the reasons why is so that I can get them situated. Um, now let's say there was an emergency and I had to be seen on the road. Um, Banfield Veterinary Clinic is through like PetSmart. So they have your records regardless of what PetSmart you go to. So it's kind of perfect. And that's who I would utilize if I was on the road. So. <laughs> I would say our favorite, like they're people and they talk and tell me, but they're such little dogs and it's pretty amazing the stamina that they have and how excited they get when we go on um, hikes. And I think my favorite memory is the one that we went to in Hickory, North Carolina. Um, it was my first travel assignment and we were gonna go around, I think it was Lake Norman and we were gonna do this hike that was supposed to be like two miles and by, we were like struggling, struggling. And Penny, who is the, smallest of my pups she was like looking up at me like mom 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 you know like and by the time it was over I looked at my watch it was six miles that we hiked and no wonder these little legs were like <laughs> done right so I think that's my favorite memory because it kind of I don't know we realized that we could do more than we thought we could <laughs> all right so, suggestion for RV, pup, or cat travelers. Uh, the waggle device, it uh, measures the temperature of your RV and actually sends you alerts if it gets too hot or too cold. So that is like a godsend because um, power can go out in the RV park. And if that happens and it's the summertime, then your, your dog can essentially, I mean, it's like a, a being in a car, you know? they can get too hot and overheated. So that was the best thing I'd ever done. And another thing would be to get one of those uh, collapsible fences and kind of putting it in the front of your RV so they have their own little space when you go outside and set. So you don't have to really worry about them running, you know, off or, you know, it's their space. It's perfect. So. <laughs>